Now, speaking of makeovers, our Hot Topics team is back. Welcome, Shantae, Ellen, and Rebecca. We are talking about the makeover of the Washington football team. They've got a new name, the Commanders. Yeah. Interesting. Right? So it took them a couple of years to decide this, from what I understand. Um, two years. So what do we like? Do we like this? What do you think? It's giving it's getting uh, mixed reviews on the internet because a lot <laughs> of people reviews. are a little confused as to why it took two years to come up with the commanders. the commanders at this point they could have just stayed the washington football team because they've been that for two years that would have been different i mean i don't understand why they couldn't just be washington you know right do you see they're in you know it's what here's washington no one's gonna be like the commanders are taking on the Niners. They're going to say Washington, probably. True. I feel like that's stealing our state, though. I mean, we are also Washington mm. State. But I feel like Commanders gives me, like, nautical, like a pirate ship or, like, <laughs> and I'm like, what does that have to do with D.C.? What is, where does this name originate from, I wonder? That's I, the question. I kind of saw the, the connection with D.C., our commander-in-chief. We command nations. Um, I mean, not nations. No, no, no. no. We <laughs> command armies from there. Um, so I kind of saw where they were going with it, but I don't know why it took them two years this logo, to decide though, on that. Yeah. This logo is a little bit puzzling to me because if they win another championship, they're going to have to reconfigure a little bit. It's a little cluttered and like they're going to run out of space <laughs> for their championships. <laughs> and, so. and what's their mascot? Understood. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. I don't know. But we'll, we'll have it's to not see. terrible. It's, no, it's not terrible. Yeah. It's just... Okay. It's okay. It's, it's underwhelming. Right. I feel yes. Like yes. It's underwhelming. It's not terrible, but it's not giving two years. It's not no. giving. Yes. It took two years to figure this out. I, I think mean, that's our, the problem. Our people, not our people, but the, the Kraken. People who, the Kraken yeah. They came up with the Kraken in less than a year, which is the best name of any sports team ever. Yes. Yeah. But I a mean, lot of people it, didn't like that either when it was really? first announced. So I think you're going to get, you know. But the promo for it, like when you saw like the Kraken in the water, what I are they going to promo so for cool. the Commanders? Yeah, for real. Also, what's their nickname <laughs> going to be? Point. I wonder. I, people are saying commies. What? <laughs> I cannot make this up. That is, not, that is not in line <laughs> with what you're trying to do. I don't do. think that's what they're going for. But I'm telling you, that's Ooh, what they're saying. Not the time for it. <laughs> On Twitter. My goodness. All right, well, <clears throat> we'll see. <laughs> Meantime, Hoda Kotb announced on the Today Show that she and her fiancé have ended their engagement after deciding that they are better off as friends. Yeah. Okay, I mean... I, I wish her the best. That's got to be so, so hard to Eight admit years. on TV. No. Eight years yes. they were together. They have a baby recently, right? Uh, they I adopted two so. kids together. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I think some viewers had noticed that she wasn't wearing a ring, and so she felt like she needed to. It's just, to me, it's kind of sad that she felt like she needed to tell everybody right. that. Um, like, yeah. We just leave her alone, and it's got to be hard. I think it's hard when you're on TV and people notice things about you and you mm -hmm. feel pressured, but I've seen Hoda speak in person, and she just seems like the most hardworking, kind person, and I just, like, I want her to be happy, you yes. know? Yes. Like, wish her nothing but the best. Absolutely. Right. We actually interviewed her on New Day about, oh, my gosh, over a year ago now, and she was just... So delightful, so lovely, and made sure we had all the time in the world. Here's this woman whose life is probably measured by the minute when it comes to in engagements, and she was just so lovely. So, I mean, that's really sad, but it does bring up a good point about how, you know, because her ring was missing. I mean, I've forgotten to wear my wedding ring on occasion, and I've gotten emails. I guess she said that she felt kind of weird saying this, but that she felt brave for doing this, not just for making the announcement, but for going through with the decision to end the relationship yeah. after eight years. And Absolutely. so that kind of, uh, she thought that maybe others could relate to, to what she was going through, so. I, yeah, I, I agree, because that. sometimes people stay in things that, you know, aren't working. So for them to be grown enough to say we're better off as friends, you know, mm -hmm. co-parents, and she might inspire someone else. Mm -hmm. So true. Absolutely. Hear, hear, Shantae, I love that. All right, so my next question is, do any of you play Wordle? I have not gotten into this shit. I don't even know how it works. Like, I know it's a website. I, it's not an app, though, right? Um, <laughs> there's, like, words. I know there's words. It's super popular these days. I have not gotten into it, but, like, so many people that I know have. Um, but, yeah, it got sold to the New York Times, and so now the, the worry is that it's going to cost people to play it when before it was free. Like, can't we have nice things? Ah, uh, I see, I, I see. Like well, it makes sense, New York Times. They are big for their crossword. 
You yeah. know, this is their thing, kind of. So I see why they're trying to grab this and brand it. And you know what? I personally feel like this is something great for the Times because, you know, newspapers, it's a struggling world yeah, right now, true. just like local media. So we see any sort of way they can make commerce. I'm, I, I support it because we need to keep journalism alive. We right, should right? say at this time, um, they say they're not going to be charging for it, but everyone expects that to change. And time, I think it's more the time. thing, one thing that probably draws people in is it's free, a free game uh -huh. that you can enjoy. So I don't know that if there does come a time when they say, yeah, we're charging for it, will it have the same amount of steam? Because something being free and then having to pay for it, I think it's a totally different thing. Yeah. People get so upset about that. Yeah. I mean, no, I understand. Like, nobody likes it. You have something free and then suddenly, like, oh, you charge for it? Yeah. It's, yeah. Oof. I kind of love the backstory, though. The, the creator of it um, created it for his partner because he Aww. just thought that they might like to have a game like that. So it, it, it was never like, I'm doing this for money. It was just, you got a little overwhelmed with the attention. And so now he's got like a million dollars. Yeah, he sold it, right? <laughs> because yes. he got overwhelmed yeah. by how much of it was going on. Yeah, so good for him. Yeah. That's a good, good deal. problem to have. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Well, you know what? I say, good for him. Good for Amen. Him. <laughs> good for Wordle. It is all good. And yes. thank you, ladies, so much for spending time with us today. It has been a pleasure as always chatting with you. Thank you. I hope you wear your polka dot suits next time. Yes. Uh, Stella, yeah. call me up. <laughs> Stella, I'm on the line. All right. Well, thank you all for spending time with us today. Remember, you can check our website for more content. As always, you can send us an email with your thoughts. Remember to enjoy your new day.